Welcome to our channel. Here is a message from St. Ignatius of Loyola on July 30, 2004. We have many things to talk about, dear brothers and sisters, but only some of them will be communicated in this way. The other things we want to tell you about will be communicated to you in more conventional ways. Many of us have written works of spiritual significance. Those works sometimes chronicle our struggles, which will interest you, I know, but you can also look for the revelations given to us by God. There is a great body of heavenly wisdom on the earth right now. Look to this body of work for deeper knowledge of Jesus and everything to do with God. If you are following these words, you will be interested to read about us and our difficulties. You will then understand that you are not the first person who has had to suffer for the faith. You will also understand that when we tell you to trust, we understand that it can require a heroic act of your will. We do not speak lightly to you, my friends. We speak with all gravity, all consideration, and in complete cooperation with God's goals for this mission. You cannot err if you follow our words. Our words are one with God, because they come from Him and from unity to Him. Would we return to work for Jesus again, leaving heaven, with all of its wonders and comforts? Of course we would. It might be difficult to leave heaven, particularly after knowing Him in this complete sense, but it is for that reason especially that we would sacrifice again. We would do anything for Him and I say that with no reluctance, no hesitation. Truly, when you are with Jesus, you will feel the same. The achievement we are trying to inspire you to work for is to serve Him completely before you know Him completely. This, your challenge, is done through your faith, your love, your knowledge of Him obtained in contemplation. This knowledge of Him is His gift to you, but He cannot give you these graces if you do not want them or if you choose not to accept Him. You must be available to Him in order for Him to work in your soul. Many reject Him now. That is simply the unpleasant truth. We would not hide the truth from you because it is for the truth, we have come to you. You will need to use the truth as a weapon. When someone speaks the truth, people listen. They may become angry, they may deny the truth, and they may then try to hide the truth but they will hear you. And then they must make a choice. You see, my brothers and sisters, there are souls to whom the truth has not been adequately represented. You will change that. We will show you how. One way is to spread these words and to assist those who have accepted the mission of spreading these words. These words are truth. They will spread. But if you can help, you should help. Your reward will be great, and you will be part of our team. I am Ignatius. I wish to help you all. Do not be afraid. If you have a heavenly concept that confuses you, ask for my help. I will bring you the information you require. Do not think that heavenly learning is only for great scholars. Most saints were not great scholars. Most were simple people who love God. Try for that. Try to be simple. Try to love God. I love you most tenderly, my friend. Thank you for watching. Please return for more videos like this.